I'm three-time U.S. champion Barry Schultz, and this is what's in my bag. I guess here we are at USDGC right before round three, and we're going to see what's in my bag for USDGC. Typically, uh, I rotate a lot of discs in and out of my bag. I carry two or three discs or boxes full of discs in my car at all times, so I rotate just about every round. It may not be the case here in USDGC unless it's a little bit more windy like today, so I may have thrown a couple more stable discs in here, but uh, maybe two or three that are more than what I usually carry, but uh, the woods of Carolina where I play most of my golf, I need a wide variety of shots, so I'm always switching one or two or three discs out almost every round. So here we start out with the slow stuff first. All right, we got uh, Casey Aviar, 175, good and stable. Casey Aviar, 175. Putt and approach, uh, DX, 175 when it was new, probably down a couple grams. And then uh, first run, Big Beat AVR was 175, but it's been well worn, well below that by now. Um, I prefer a KC plastic in all my putters and all my approach discs from rocks to putters just because I have better distance control with them. Uh, and you should pay attention sometimes, you know, you know what can happen. Try out all plastics. Uh, then I can step up to my rocks, um, my mid range, so to speak. Um, when I have short range, shots it's all AVRs when I have mid-range shots it's almost all rocks I'll throw a shark in there once in a while uh, maybe a coyote on rocking the courses and stuff but uh, mainly it's rocks DX KC uh, it doesn't really matter I do not throw a champion or star in my approach discs I don't feel I have the uh, uh, distance control that I want or need in the field for the distance so uh, I like a DX or a, a KC type disc for all my approach shots so here I are with my rocks old beat up Ontario Rancho, uh, another flippy one, KC and KC, you got stable all the way to flippy. Um, something I do a little bit different for USDGC is I try and have as many red, white, and blue type discs in my bag as I can. So there's a handful of discs that I use basically only for USDGC. The Shark has become one of them, red, white, and blue stamp. This zone driven, uh, zone driven is based here, or was based here before it became Disc Golf U uh, here in Rock Hill. So uh, kind of good connection there. And something else I kind of do, uh, kind of unique, for USDGC is I put a new stable rock in my bag for every round. And during my round, whether we have a backup or at the beginning of the course or beginning of the round, whatever the case is, I'll have everybody in my group sign it. And then when I'm done with that round, it goes in the box and get the next one out. So this is round three. Uh, you'll notice that uh, I'm not married to a max weight. Um, I believe max weight really only has a, is an advantage in two aspects. And that's one, the life of a disc. It'll lose its stability quicker when it's down five or six, seven grams. And then high wind is going to get affected more uh, with those extra five or six grams. But other than that, a disc in general is actually better four or five grams away from max. And we got slow range drivers. We got a nice red, right, and blue leopard. Another straighter leopard. And then a TL, which served as my faster leopard, I guess you could say. And then we got all these drivers here. Flippy. Pro Starfire L version, a little faster than the regular version. It's my turnover to a, a straight driver, uh, 175. Another one, just a little more stable than that. Same thing, 175. And we got straight Wraith, 175 as well. And then I got my stable Metal Flake T-Bird with the team stamp. That thing is super stable. Almost every disc in general is more stable uh, in the Metal Flake plastic than any other plastic. Uh, then we got my three bosses. I got a really fast, stiff pro line from back in 09. I've got the lightweight uh, star and champion blend, 167. And then I got the champion with my personal stamp on there for the more stable shots, 175. Um, that's something that you should do if you don't. If you've noticed, I have a bunch of AVRs, a bunch of rocks, and one or two of a couple other discs. Don't have 15 varieties of discs in your bag. Try and cut it down to six or seven or eight and have a fresh all the way to a really beat up one of that disc. If you like a disc, there's a reason. It fits in your hand, it fits your arm speed, it fits whatever you do in your game. You should take advantage of that and use two or three of them. Then we got two more trick discs, the Super Stable Star Firebird, 175, and then my good old trusty Roadrunner, standstill shots and rollers, great USDGC players pack disc. I wish I could get more. And that one I believe was max weight, 175 as well. And then my two putters. I have a belief that I don't throw my putters and I don't putt my throwers. And you may think, why is that? Well, the most critical relationship you have with any one of your discs is your main putter. And if you end up throwing that main putter, you risk losing it, breaking it, or changing the way it flies and wins and stability-wise. You have to know exactly how your putter flies to be able to pull off some of those putts out there. So if you are dedicated to one putter, 
as a thrower and a putter, you might want to reconsider and get some throwers in your bag as well. Got a nice uh, KC-171 double stamp, and then the old trusty uh, flat, no bead, rock hard putter for in the warmth and the heat and humidity. This northern boy needs a little bit of help. Putters I switch out most often. I go from soft in the cold weather to stiffer in the hot weather. Uh, and pay attention, you might need to do the same. Thank you.